And the first thing the board is I see is the sheriff saying, I've done all I can do here. Just for the record, y'all, this is a third floor apartment. And it's my pick again. What up, YouTube? It's your boy, John Dash. And welcome or welcome back to my channel, Dash Theory TV. It's been a minute. All right, so I recently got this Walmart order. And when I got it at the time, it was only like a $5 order, but it was going less than one mile. It was literally going one block. So I decided to take it. After getting the tip on that order, I was like, hey, I got to investigate more of these Walmart orders. So in today's video, I'm driving for Uber Eats, but I'm taking Walmart orders only. If I get any good orders that are just stupid not to take from other places, I may take them. But I'm really trying to focus on seeing like what these Walmart orders hit for. And it's going to probably take 24 hours to hit my tips. So I'll follow up and make sure I show these orders after full tip in this video. But anyways, your boy's here sitting in this Walmart parking lot seeing what I can get. This morning they came out here and uh, I hit these couple Walmart orders up. And the, the one thing about them is that they were luckily all houses. Actually, I'm sorry. One was a third floor apartment. Luckily, it was, I don't know, some eggs and like some syrup or something. It was an express order. So we'll see if those uh, hit for uh, some tips tomorrow. So besides that, uh, all of the rest of these other Walmart orders have been in the area. With the surge pay, the supplement, the base, uh, these Walmart orders are actually okay on their own. So my theory is that, you know, that are already good on their own, these orders, they also hit for another $5, 10 $15 tip on top of that. Woo! These could be some fatty daddies. We'll see what happens on the back end, you know what I'm saying? The other thing your boy's trying to do right here is trying to figure out, like, when's the best time to come out here and hit these Walmart orders off? Um, I know this morning was popping. Um, I think this afternoon, like around 2 or 3, started to pop a little bit more. 12 and 1 seem kind of dead. I've noticed, like, about 15 minutes till the hour um, is when these orders, they start mostly coming in. The other thing I'm looking at is if you get some good Walmart orders with good bases, like, what percentage of them actually give a good tip or give a tip at all? Here we go. He's like this one, six for two. I'll take it. We'll see what happens. I'm sorry, the person you were trying to reach has a voicemail box. Yeah, uh, I'm here for a pickup in uh, spot number seven, and the OSN is. Uh, okay, I'm not going to shortly. Thank you. All right, thank you. So uh, that's easy as it is. So yeah, your boy got that last one off. It wasn't that bad of an order. It was a bunch of boxes and then uh, I got like a catering bag that I'd have to put the groceries in and it was just one trip with the catering bag. So that's one of my little tricks to make it easier for me instead of trying to Hulk Brock Lesnar everything. Uh, use some tools, use your brain. Work smarter, not harder. Your boy, John Dash. It's a little Dash Theory. A little Dash Theory for the boys. By the way, for all my nerd crew out there, if you, if you have not watched the Marvel's What If, uh, in addition to everything else, Marvel, Disney Plus, yo, Marvel's What If, watch the first one about the, uh, what if it wasn't Captain America? I'll just say it that way. I liked it. I liked it. If you like this video, like it. Alright y'all, real quick, so Take after that, right turn. Mm, you loud, girl. so yeah, real quick, after that dance party, uh, your boy got this like $8, one and a half mile taco beasy, had to take it, uh, it's about like a half hour pass, and so I figured like I got another 15 minutes, so I'll start getting some more Walmart orders, as I said before, if I see money on the floor, I gotta pick it up. On the way to drop this off, your boy scooped up a little $7 three mile Walmarty. So this is what happened. 
It was more than one of the first Walmart deliveries I did. It was a big Walmart delivery. You know, it was going to the hood. It was, uh, I'm not going to name the town, but if you're from AZ, it's the town in the city. I'll say that much. I don't know if this is relevant to the story or not, but the town isn't regulated by city police. It's actually regulated by sheriff because it's technically not the city. It's the town. I come into the stop. I'm about to turn right. The stop. The sheriff is at my left. So I go. I think he sees me pull up and open my trunk and I deliver my groceries. He pulls off and does this thing. And as the sheriff pulls off, I realize behind the sheriff is this girl kicking and screaming in the streets, homie. Like, I didn't see this before because I was in my car when I first saw the sheriff. But as I'm delivering and I see the sheriff pull off, I now hear the sound of this girl kicking and screaming in the streets. And this is as the sheriff is pulling away from that. Like, literally. And the first thing in the morning is I see is the sheriff saying, I've done all I can do here. It's about a quarter to six. So, you know, start getting orders again. And uh, got like a $7, three mile. Of course, that goes with the $2 per mile rule as well as with the upside tip. We'll continue to do it to see what we get. Let's go. Oof. All right, y'all. Oh, that sun is right in my eyes. All right, y'all. Get that order off. It's about six o'clock. I think we're about to go for one more hour. See if we can get like two more of these Wally World orders. The get a good sample size. Ultimately, see what this tip game about. Let y'all know if it's worth it. Uh, at least in what one market looks like. So you can say, hey, if I can get that in my market, maybe you can take a chance, take a risk, do your own theory dash. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all. So the sun's finally going down. It's about six thirty ish. And this may or may not be my last order of the night, but I got one more Walmart order. It is an express order, which means that this one, they don't deliver to my car. I actually got to walk in and pick it up. Uh, the first time I did one of these, it was like a backpack and a pair of sneakers. And it came with a $10 tip. So this one is like, uh, sorry, five or $6, but one and a half miles from here. So easy money, the type of order that I probably would have taken anyways. And uh, let's see if we get a fat tip on top of it. Still on the back end. Let's go. This is what we're working with on this order. Not bad. Uh, we'll see if it's a stairs or if it's a house. So if we have the house, it's be easy trip. All right, so we got that packed up. We're about to get going and dropping it off. It's a mile and a half away. It's a decent size order, so hopefully we'll get at least a $5 tip or $10 tip. I did like a little experiment earlier where I, I mocked up a Walmart grocery order where I did everything except hit send. And... The grocery order was like 40 bucks and it recommended a $7 tip. So I know that even with the smaller amounts, it still recommends a decent sized tip. Now with an express order, all that means is that the customer paid extra to have it delivered in two hours or less. So that's enough talking, time to go get this bread. And apparently finish my fantasy draft. Just for the record, y'all, this is a third floor apartment. I thought, no, so, you know what I'm saying? You done I, fucked up now, you know that does. <laughs> I think this is it right here, though. And it's my pick again. So many things going on. All right, y'all. Take these sunglasses off. Sun's down. I don't need those no more. All right, y'all. I got that last order off. It's uh, officially 704. But yeah, so that last one's off. Uh, like I said, that was like five or six dollars for that one and a half miles. It was a third floor. But with the tools that I got, your boy got that up in one trip and uh, did everything I had to do. Thank you.